What is happening, guys? Call of Duty Black Ops Kid here, coming at you with an awesome news video regarding Halo and the Elder Scrolls 6. Now, let's talk about something very important, and then we're going to talk about Halo Infinite's multiplayer and how that's going to get a possible reveal today. And you're going to be able to play it, possibly, from what an insider says at 343. And um, we have a very interesting article from Halo Infinite, and we have some photos and stuff like that. So let's kind of dig into it. So Halo Infinite has been kind of uh, teased for its multiplayer. Going to be coming out earlier than December 8th. Maybe to give people a complete overhaul and attention driven on the campaign. Now, um, that's not 100% sure confirmed. But it is going to be something that's very possible to come out uh, soon. Uh, November 15th is the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo Combat Evolved. And Microsoft has a special celebration showcase. And all weekend, we've been hearing lots of rumors about data mines, so the nod. So saying as Microsoft is going to release the uh, Halo Infinite's free multiplayer component uh, as an anniversary supply surprise today, whether it's a timed a timed thing or it's a full launch, isn't a hundred percent clear. Um, maybe just like I said to give campaign its shining glory. Um, and a three five three four three insider that w wants to be renamed anonymous says yes That's always been the plan is to launch Halo Infinite's multiplayer as, as a surprise today. You will note the phrase has always been uh, Could potentially be is um, The latest information is that there was a last-minute bug that required a huge chunk of three four three to work through the weekend to fix and Microsoft really wanted this to happen according to a wide range of sources that they, yes, wanted to release Halo Infinite's multiplayer, and it should go live today as an original surprise for people to enjoy. Now, whether or not this is actually a Steam launch, because I'm not 100% sure if you can even pre-order it on Steam yet, um, as I'm not 100% sure if that's even a thing yet, but we do know for sure that you can preload everything or you can get installed but you can't preload anything yet and I, according to this when i'm making this video which is about an hour before the event which we will be showing some more information on when i get uh, off work tonight so if halo comes out we'll be streaming it live on youtube tonight um for about f maybe three to four hours um i will be tired of shit tomorrow so you guys better subscribe for that content coming very soon and um, I'm not really surprised that they want to launch this. Uh, you know, the campaign is going to be something that people are going to want to focus on. And I think if there's a multiplayer and the campaign coming out at the same time, you're not going to be able to enjoy two things at once. I mean, at least me, I wouldn't be able to enjoy it two things at once. But, I mean, I am excited for this to be uh, officially coming possibly today. Um, there is no 100% certainty or guarantee anything will happen. But uh, as of right now, it looks like this is a, f a surefire thing, and we'll we'll know in the next hour or so. So, anyways, let's go on to Elder Scrolls Six with Microsoft announcing that Elder Scrolls Six will be a console exclusive, and quotations on console exclusive because it is coming to Xbox and Game Pass on PC day one, as well as console, and as well as a most likely a launch on Steam, which is most likely going to be a thing. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on the Steam thing. I'm 90% sure that's what they're doing, but. Anyways, so they're kind of diving into the Xbox market um, again with a, another exclusive with Bethesda. They already announced Starfield was going to be a console exclusive, and I was kind of surprised, actually, that the Elder Scrolls VI, their biggest selling thing, is going to be a console exclusive for Xbox. I'm actually kind of surprised by this. A little bit scummy in a way, just because you know Xbox has a pretty good track record of of keeping things that they buy a pretty cross-gen exclusive. Now now that the PlayStation is kind of out, I think they're really hammering down with exclusives, not really um, letting people know that they're just sitting there and letting us take it all. It's going to be what they're wanting to do from the beginning, and that's to sell consoles and sell games. And whether or not you're part of the Xbox Game Pass service, you're going to be paying full price for these games, obviously. And I think the Game Pass service is definitely the best way to go if you're not an Xbox user or you have a PC that is able to handle it and you want to play Elder Scrolls. You can buy the Xbox Game Pass service for PC Ultimate Edition for $1 and you never <clears throat> obviously have to pay full price at the next month if you're going to keep the service. But for a dollar to try it out is an absolutely 
great steal personally. I think uh, I think I got mine um, a couple years ago. Uh, I got mine when it when it basically first came out, maybe a month or two afterwards, and <clears throat> I've been enjoying the service the entire time. It's a great service. It's uh, the best way to play games that you never thought you'd play before. So that's just my hot take on Xbox Game Pass. But I will say a little scummy to see that in, in, as well as Starfield to be. Starfield I'm not as surprised about, but Elder Scrolls, since it came out, was revealed, uh, I think, three years ago. Um, a little, almost little four years ago at this point. I think it was 2018. And for them to now describe it as a console Xbox exclusive, I, I mean, not just console. It's obviously going to be PC. But... Uh, for it to be an Xbox brand exclusive is pretty pretty insane, to be honest with you. I feel like if anything was acquisized about a certain time, obviously they're trying to get their money's worth. I think it was $4 billion they bought uh, Bethesda Studios for. So I'm not really surprised by this, but at the same time, you know, this has been kind of rumored about for a while. You know, is it going to be a console exclusive? There's already been th people like, hey, we'll just build a PC and you can get the Game Pass service and, you know, go from there. I personally think that's the best way to go, personally. Uh, PCs are, are something that are obviously a lot more expensive than a console. You'll be spending at least a grand to get, you know, true 1080p gaming at reasonable refresh rates. And honestly, you know, I think it's a, it's a great option to go and uh, get a PC and then, you know, get your games that way, personally. You save a lot more money, too. You don't have to pay as much money. Steam sales are great, obviously. Um, obviously these are just Xbox game pass games that you can just get. You pay $15 a month. I think it's, if you total it out, 15 times 12 is a hundred, um, $130 a year. So you're paying, a, you're paying only two, basically for two games for all of Xbox games, uh, game passes exclusives, which is an exceptional deal. They, they've been having, you know, consistent great games coming out ever so often too. And you pay a super cheap price. I will say it. I'm kind of surprised that Elder Scrolls is going to be taking this approach. But honestly, it's a great thing for Xbox. It's going to guarantee either console sales or game sales. Um, or some new subscribers to Xbox Game Pass. That's another way to look at it. It's a win-win from both sides. Obviously, PlayStation players are going to be losing out quite a bit. Um, because, you know, you have to either... Buy a whole new console or buy a PC or know someone that has a PC. You know, it's going to create a lot of detention against PlayStation players, which understandably so. Uh, but, you know, that's what exclusives are for. You guys are well known for your exclusives as well for PlayStation. So, and we have to either, we have to buy a PlayStation. You don't have the option to buy a PC with, with Xbox. Um, it's harder to get a PS5 right now than an Xbox Series S or X compared to a PS4 PS5. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, anyways, that is the video for today. We'll see you guys tonight if Halo launches. If not, I'm a liar and I'm really sorry. And I'll put an apology in the post in my community section if it's uh, wrong. If not, uh, follow me on Instagram. I'll, I'm there. So, and uh, follow me on the social medias, Twitch and YouTube. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See ya.